So, if you're wondering who precisely will hold a lot of sway for Mizoram elections, let me take you through some of the details as well. Uh, on top, of course, is the Chief Minister himself. John Thanga uh, from uh, Aizwal East is the incumbent Chief Minister of the Mizo National Front. Has he been able to take enough decisions that the party by in itself will be able uh, to return to the government or will it be other regional parties? Now, Ton Lia, who's uh, from Toishang, is the incumbent Deputy Chief Minister. Two senior leaders of NMF, MNF uh, continue to hold clout for the northeastern state of Mizoram, but uh, eventually it is as much about two personalities as it is about the work done in the past five years. Wanlal Mouka, who is uh, the state chief of the Bharatiya Janata Party from Dampa, uh, BJP, whether in alliance and most likely only in alliance, remember, BJP may not be able to make complete inroads, but like it did in the past five years, it will want to ensure at least have some sway with one of the parties to be able to be in government. Lal Sauta, Aizwal West, state chief of the Congress party. Congress has held importance in Mizoram. It has been in the government previously too in alliance and this time, whether it can have that permutation combination, of course, we will see after the elections. But Lal Dauma, who is the ZPM president, ZPM of course, is uh, the op main opposition party. Again, in, in, Ch in Mizoram, unlike in Chhattisgarh, the regional parties will hold sway, just like, for example, the BRS in Telangana. So the BJP and the Congress party will more be on the supportive lines. So the election started, election season for assembly, a semi-final for 2024.